Hi everyone, this is Mike, and I recently received a request from Sophie to do a video about how to create subnumbering when auto numbering is on. Doing anything with numbers in Microsoft Word can be a nightmare at times, and relying on your mouse could cause added stress. But in this video, I'll show you two keyboard shortcuts and how to customize and define a new multi-leveled numbered list to make your life easier. So in Microsoft Word, we have automatic numbering, and that just means if I was going to go to the next line after this line, and I have automatic numbering set up. If I press enter and then go to the next line, it'll turn into the number four, even if I don't want it to. So if you wanted to change this into a sub number or a multi-level list, um, there's two keyboard shortcuts that we can use. So if I press tab, you can get into a sub level of this number and it would turn into the letter A. This is just the default word option. And then if I was to press tab again, um, there's other options like that. Now to keep this sublevel going, you'd have to type something in and then press enter. So I'll just type in uh, point 0.1 and then press enter, point 0.2, point 0.3. The only tricky part from here is now how do I get back? So once I, um, I've got my sub points, I've got my three main sub points. Now I want to get back to the next level, which would be level four. Um, the way you could do that is hold the shift key with your, your, on your keyboard and then tab at the same time. So shift and tab, and that's gonna bring it one level back, and then I'm gonna do it again. That's gonna bring it back to four. So now if I want something custom like this, it gets a little bit more challenging if I want a custom multi-level list. So here's how you would get there. So at first when I press tab, that just turns into an A, and that's not what I want. I want that to turn in 3.1, and then the next points to turn in 3.2, 3.3, and so on. So to change this, I would have to go to the home tab, and then go to the multi-level list drop arrow and click on it. And then we're gonna click on define new multi-level list. And from here, so it takes us to level two because that's what I had highlighted, but the number three is a level one to modify. And we don't really have to change anything with that, So, but we do have to link the two. So when we go to the second point, the first thing you're gonna do is delete the enter formatting for number box. We're gonna make some changes there, but if you don't delete it, it can cause you some trouble. So we'll delete that. And then the first thing we're gonna do is include the level number from level one. And it doesn't have a point behind it. So in my custom format, I want it to say 3.1. Um, so we say point number style for this level, one, two, three. So it's gonna be, if it was from, from uh, the second point, it would be 2.1. If it was under this third number, it would be 3.1. And that's what I want. So uh, I'm gonna press okay and then we're gonna type in our point one. And then when we go to the next point, point two, and then point three. And again, remember, if you wanna get back, just uh, let's say if now we wanna start uh, point four, I would click uh, the click and hold the keyboard shift and tab. So those two buttons, shift and tab. And then it just goes over to the, takes us back to the level one list. Anyways, I hope that was helpful in giving you some information about how to organize and customize a multi-level list. If you have any Microsoft Word requests, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to do my best to cover them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.